Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, it's Asha Marke here, Lemon Creation. Today I thought I'm gonna come back a little bit to the abstract and I'm gonna make two abstract, easy abstract cards slash uh, art journal pages because uh, for some of you what I'm doing are cards and uh, for me it's usually art journal pages because even if they are uh, loose at the beginning or when I create them uh, at the end I'm always uh, putting them into art journal and today I wanted to create something which is quite easy and uh, a little bit experimental and uh, for which I don't need a lot of products. As you can see I'm using a bubble wrap, one is um, flat already, I think my children were playing with it and uh, the bubbles are non-existent, the other is really lovely, uh, like <laughs> lovely, it's not lovely, yeah, uh, first of all it's not ecological so I don't like using it uh, so much but when I get it uh, with some orders uh, I keep them usually to reuse them later because I don't feel like throwing them away. So the other is perfect, like uh, the bubbles are uh, there. And I was actually thinking to do only one page, but uh, when I've seen uh, the two different uh, bubble wraps, I decided to go for two different pages. I am using Gansai Tambi uh, watercolors and I didn't want to use the colors uh, which are existing in the pans. I wanted to mix them up a little bit. So as you can see, I mix up red and the brown color. Uh, I have a set of 36, I think, Gansai Tambis, and I absolutely love them. If you want to uh, do watercolors and uh, you are a um, beginner, actually, like me, I uh, advise you to use those. They are beautiful. They are leaving really nice colors. They are a little bit, I think, granulated, although I'm not sure because I'm not expert. But very often when you are doing a mix, uh, you can see actually two colors and it's it's beautiful. The effect is beautiful. So I made a first page. As you've seen, I put water, I put a uh, mixed paint on it and I just put the bubble wrap on top of it. And for the second page, I decided actually, uh, I wet the page already, but then I decided to mix up the colors and do a different page with different color. And I add a little bit of uh, dark blue and I got this beautiful, uh, beautiful violet. As you can see, I didn't mix the color very well on my palette. And uh, I did it on purpose because I love... Uh, sometimes it's very nice to mix the colors uh, completely, but I love to have like two different shades of colors on the paper. It's so nice, it's always a surprise, so I like it very much. And for this uh, last page, I used the uh, uh, bubble wrap, which is already a little bit damaged. And I left it to dry, I think overnight even. And look, guys, at that. It's a beautiful effect. I've watched a lot of um, tutorials uh, on watercolors and different effects you can get with bubble wrap and the salt. And look at this one also. There's like, I use one paint mixed paint but it's like they separated on the red uh, page and I have a little bit of reddish and uh, brown and I had to cut the edges of the uh, of the page because I'm taking it from the watercolor paper and it actually has these serrated edges so you know to remove it easily from the book uh, but later on they stay on the paper so I just cut it. Here I decided to use my homemade tissue paper so there is a video, I'm gonna give you a link in the uh, in the corners here, if not it's gonna be in the description box below, of how I made uh, this tissue paper, very easy thing to do, so if you feel like making some tissue paper by yourself, just uh, have a look at my video. And I didn't want to do a lot with these pages, I wanted to do a simple abstract, nothing really, you know, no overthinking, and as little products as possible, uh, none of us uh, can, uh, you know, uh, have a lot of products and we don't actually use it uh, or need it. And I always repeat that uh, the more products you have, the more lost I think you are. At least that's my opinion uh, and that's how I feel. So sometimes it's very good to just uh, restrain yourself to use one, two, three products and uh, just be happy with that. Sorry for my pet sticking out. For the second page 
I decided to um, circle around the, the bubbles on the paper uh, with the, I think this is Unipin fine liner and I have always hard time. I don't, I feel like I don't have a very big imagination because uh, sometimes it's very hard for me to see things in the abstract pages. So I've seen artists on the YouTube who are just crazy, YouTube, Instagram, whatever, who are just crazy. They see such a beautiful object, such a beautiful scenery out of the just, you know, messy paint blobs. I have a little bit of problem with that and I always struggle. If I like the background, I'm always thinking, oh, I'm gonna make a line here on the dot here and it's not gonna look nice and I'm gonna waste the beautiful background. And usually because of that also, I uh, I stay with dots and lines <laughs> because they are the simple uh, simplest ones as forms and I can always do something with it. If I start uh, actually making the shapes like, I don't know, a tree or whatever, uh, that can actually uh, turn into disaster. And um, quite, uh, I could quite ha uh, quickly be unhappy with the result, but lines and uh, circles are something which is, um, which is actually quite easy to work with. You know, you can add lines, you can add circles, and uh, you usually won't go bad with it. So this is my also my, my thing to go if I am not so sure about myself. And let's be honest, those two pages, they don't actually portray anything. Uh, like, you know, sometimes you put a, um, uh, a little bit of water and uh, watercolor paint and it makes a very nice form of the tree and you can see the tree. Here I have actually an abstract background <laughs> without any particular shape, not to my eye anyway. So I decided to just go with that. And I'm telling you guys, I was hesitant, I was wondering a lot if what I'm doing makes sense, if it's gonna be nice. And finally I said to myself, ah, I just have to go with what I feel like is good for this page, even if there is not that many elements on it, it's just still a nice page because the colors are lovely, the shapes are uh, lovely of the bubbles, and so that's what's important, that's what what makes the page beautiful already. And I decided to do a little bit of um, doodling on the second page also. Also lines, as you can see, but a little bit more wonky. Um, as I said, uh, this is supposed to be a very abstract page because I already did one like that, actually, with my tissue paper also, my handmade tissue paper. Um, and um, I really like it. I, I make them very minimalistic, like I don't need too much because uh, I also, when I do my art journaling, I make sometimes pages which are full of elements, which are full of texture, and then I'll make pages which I love the most, which are kind of in the middle, a little bit of stamping, a little grunge usually, uh, one focal point, a uh, small sentence at the end, and I leave it at that. And then I also started making very, very abstract uh, things, very abstract pages. Uh, they are not like breathtaking <laughs> or anything, but I think uh, what's important is the experience. And I think I'm learning from each page a little bit more. And maybe one day I will find something which is actually very, very mine and which I am happy with and I feel very at ease to do. So this is also the thing, you know, it's the process. <laughs> it's not uh, exactly what's at the end of the process. Also, yes, of course, uh, because the thing has to be uh, still pleasing to the eye, but it's the process which counts a lot because you can learn a lot of things uh, from it. So don't be afraid. Always, I will always repeat that, don't be afraid. And as you've seen, I add a little bit of my stamping uh, my stamping, I mean my stamps. <laughs> uh, you can find link to the shop in the description box below, so please check it out. Uh, just a little bit of uh, script, because I thought it will look nice with the page. And it will be a little bit different than the first one, which was all about uh, doodling. And the pages are done. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's really uh, different than the ones I'm making usually. Uh, the colors are different, they are kind of, uh, I wouldn't say dull, but they are not very crispy as colors. They are more earthy tones, almost, and 
anyway the, the one I am uh, working on right now. But I still love them. Uh, thank you so much for watching, for subscribing and I hope I'm gonna see you in the next video and I just wanted to show you this. Is, those are the flowers in my garden and I'm so happy the spring is here. I wish you all a beautiful day. See you soon. Bye bye.